Reproductive rights have been enshrined in the state's constitution for nearly five months now. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami joins us live and tells us despite the amendment, the battle over abortion is ongoing. Natalie. Jennifer, there are current laws being challenged in courts here in Columbus and new ideas being thrown out there to try and shift the culture. When voters approved the constitutional amendment back in November, they legalized abortion to the point of fetal viability. Some groups like the Center for Christian Virtue say every abortion is a child's life loss. We cannot um, abandon this issue um, and, and, and run away from uh, the importance of protecting life. That's Aaron Baer, president of CCV. He says more can be done to shift the culture in the state from what they call a pro-abortion mentality, like in public schools. These are taxpayer-funded schools, right? Our, our lawmakers have no requirement to just close their eyes and send their, their money off. He suggests lawmakers outline to schools what types of sex education can be taught so as not to, quote, indoctrinate students. The state releases an annual will report on how many abortions can happen throughout the year. Bear says that should be more readily available. We were able to get COVID tests uh, data uh, the next day. Um, you know, I think we should be able to have a sense of, of how many children are losing their lives uh, in our state. Um, faster than a, a you know a year out. Gabriel Mann of Pro Choice Ohio tells me he thinks the state's annual report is sufficient enough. Ohio voters have said that they don't want to see government interference. Mann tells me his group's focus moving forward is removing barriers that are currently in state law, like one that requires a woman to wait 24 hours between her initial doctor's appointment and abortion is actually an obstacle that prevents people from being able to access care. Technically, the amendment does not address the 24-hour waiting period, but creates broad protections. In this court filing, Attorney General Dave Yost argues that law still stands because it does not prevent doctors from performing abortions, but ensures that the woman is acting voluntarily after sufficient consideration. He's flat out wrong. Although current laws are being debated in courts, the only way to fully overturn the state's abortion amendment is through another ballot initiative or if federal law changes in a way that contradicts what we have in the Constitution. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4. All right.